All right, we're here today at uh, Wentworth Scrap Metals outside of Portsmouth, New Hampshire with John Hebert, the owner of the business. To uh, show him the new laser-based technology, the Z100, that uses a laser to analyze metals as opposed to x-ray. I was just showing to John, this is the actual analyzer. And one of his questions was, how does it, like what does it shoot at the, at the material if not x-ray? So what this does is it fires a laser the laser comes out of this little aperture and it's focused at the front surface. So the laser makes a small burn into the material. A good example is this copper alloy. We can sort of see the, see the burn, a little, little mark it makes. So it, it sort of ablates off a little bit of material and vaporizes it. And as that cools, it looks at the light that comes from the various elements that were in that material. So it looks at optical light as opposed to x-ray light. But there's a camera inside so you can see when the material is in front of the window. Right. And you can hold your fingers there because there's no x-ray. You would never do this with an x-ray. No, gun. no. Um, but you can hold your finger there and shoot stuff. So on turnings, instead of shoving the thing into barrels of turnings, you can just grab a bunch of them and hold on. Hold them, test them, set it up to do an average. Yeah. So it can give you an average chemistry of your, of your bucket. And um, no, the problem with those with an X-ray gun, and you maybe you've experienced this. You start shoving that thing into turnings, right? You poke through the window, right? The problems, bingo, yeah. eight to ten grand broken yeah. detector. Oh, yeah. so what I like to show people is just to, as an example. This is a little hex wrench. There's the window. Right. I mean, I can do this oh, all wow. day long. Wow. You know, you're not going to break anything. We're just going to pop off this window real quick right. because you're looking at optical light, not X-rays is there's a quartz shield. Okay. So what you see there, the middle thing is the laser. That's where the laser comes out. Right. The lens up the top is what collects the light from the analysis. Okay. And the, the, the lens down there is the camera looking in. But the nice thing is since that's thick quartz, you know, you can't penetrate that. Right. You, whack, right. you can whack on this thing all day long. So there's no, there's no detector to break. We make the laser and we make the spectrometer. So as I tell people, our maintenance costs are less than a tenth of an x-ray device. Because if you if you somehow drop this a lot, or you manage to break a laser, it just means maybe you've knocked a mirror loose, or you've, you, you've got a part that you've knocked loose. But we can just repair that component. Right. X-ray tube, when an x-ray tube fails, the only thing you can do is a full x-ray tube replacement. How is the battery charge in this? The batteries should be good for a good eight hours. It's right there, yeah. it sits in there. Because yeah. the, again, these don't draw, except when they're actually firing, which is only for a few seconds. Right. They don't really draw much power. When you shoot stuff, I just got a few seconds, two seconds. You, you pull the trigger, you can see the plasma being made, and there's your ID right there. Right up, right up. And there's your 836. So you get your chemistry, your grade ID, and you get a grade comparison for things that are in or out of spec. Yeah, but on the recycling side, most people are interested in the um, what it is, basic chemistry. Right. And, exactly. And yeah. yeah. One of the disadvantages of X-ray is is on the aluminums because you typically have to do a thirty or second or longer test. For some aluminums, you can do a faster test. Some you can't, but it takes a pretty knowledgeable operator and, and an alloy person to make that decision. If you don't wait long enough for that magnesium measurement, it'll cause something. It might cost something a sixty, a six thousand. It's really a five thousand right. with high mag, or, right? Or right. Just, so that's the thing. And so the nice thing about this is it's a same test time for everything. And you know, customers say, "Well, what's? How do you compare this to X-ray?" And what I tell them, rule of thumb, is libs laser is um, much faster and generally better on aluminum alloys because you can measure low magnesium really quickly, low silicon, and it's it's f generally faster on on red metals, right? Um, because um, you can pick up the aluminum and the aluminum bronzes very quickly. Right. Um, and the other thing this does, it's become a real issue, is it measures an element called beryllium in copper alloys. You get a lot of beryllium coppers, you start seeing. And beryllium's a real hazard. You can't really machine it, cut it, because the beryllium is, is right. quite toxic. Right. So you, could, you can't measure beryllium with x-ray, and you can measure it very easily with, um, with this. You, you know, most recyclers in most metal places 90% of their material is aluminum, coppers, and stainless. If 90% of your volume is in the sort of sweet spot of laser, right. that's kind of a good match. And then right. you don't have the safety and the maintenance cost either. Exactly. So you shoot this, 
So this is the, this has come up as a cast aluminum, which is not surprising because it looks like it's a cast aluminum. Right. Yep, so it's yep. come up with a 2000 series, which is kind of typical. You've got right. high copper. Right. Um, I mean, x ray is fast on some things, but you know, this is much faster on aluminum. It's about 10 times faster. Right. So it's it's now it's worth sorting yeah, this stuff. I, I was good. pulling these out. Yeah. Um, you know, that's a 7,000, 70, yeah, 75. So yeah. Yeah, you don't want to mix these guys up. No, um, you leave money on the table. Yeah, and, and yeah, I don't know if you sell it as a sixty-one and it's a bunch of seven thousand. Right. What does that mean? You know? right. Right. So there, that piece is a sixty-one. Right. You sell three sixteen, three seventeen. Yeah. Three sixteen L. Yeah. Yeah, three sixteen. Yeah, three hundred six. Yep. Yeah. So in the day, this would normally just go as stainless because the magnet wouldn't stick to it. You know what I'm saying? Right. So you'd lose your, you kind of lose money versus a like a 304 L. Yeah. I think you can do the, you can do that. Like we shot this piece, and right. you know, a lot of times you can just visually pull out every tube. Right. Maybe shoot a few more to make sure you know they right. we just didn't get lucky. Right. And um. So yeah, now you've got a stainless, a 316 upgrade right there. Yeah, that's 316 as well. Yep. So. There's a regular, a regular stainless here. Regular meaning you call it 304. Yeah, yeah 304. 304 yeah. Yeah. And it is quick. So right now you said you use an x-ray, right. a handheld x-ray right. device. Right. And um, so what have been some of your experiences with that in terms of... Uh, because I noticed we we have you haven't really had it out here looking at stuff. No, no. I was curious. You got to be real careful. Uh, it's real. Uh, it's delicate. Uh -huh. So it's not. You know, you have to have time to just set aside and do all your work, and you have to pay attention because if it gets knocked off of something or if it's even down low, it, gets, it breaks big right. expenses. So right. that's the down. That's one of the downsides. The other downsides. You know, uh, we have so many regs, uh, government regs, everything else. Mm -hmm. Registering it, paying the. Paying to register, it's three hundred fifty dollars to to use right. to buy something and to, yeah. to use. You know, every, every year, year, every yeah. year, and the and the, and then the the tags, the badges you have to wear to make sure you're not getting too much radiation. Right. Some of the recyclers that do travel from state to state, either to go out and bid in material or just have facilities, then you got to often you got to pay those fees in every state every year. Right, it's like not, that, now you're up over a you know, might be a couple thousand bucks a year in fees. Exactly. It made me nervous. Right. I said, you know, I, I was going to go to Massachusetts and do some work. And I right. said, you know, I don't even know if I can bring it into Massachusetts. Right. So recently, right. up until the laser came along, there that was, x-ray was really the only game in town, you know. Right, and right. On the repair side of this thing, one of the things we wanted to do when we designed this was because a lot of us came out of the x-ray business. So we were familiar with these, these big, these expensive detectors, expensive x-ray tubes. And, and those those issues. So that's why I went for the laser. Um, we ended up um, getting our own laser technology. So we, we make our own lasers now. Right, right. We make our own spectrometers. Yeah. Probably the total cost of a laser is not much different than an X-ray tube, and a spectrometer is less than an X-ray detector. But the reason we can repair them so quickly is because we make them. We can repair them in a modular way. So like I was saying earlier. If a grating or a fiber breaks or comes loose, we can just replace that. It's like, you know, it's like if you take your car in and it needs a new carburetor, they don't replace the whole engine, right? right I mean, that's right, kind of the right. example. You know, you're talking about a repair on the order of five hundred dollars as right. opposed to eight thousand dollars, right? Right. right. Uh, and you don't have the regulatory side. You don't right. have the badges and the, right. and the fees. And I think that'll really change the industry because you know, now there's an alternative to those high maintenance right. costs, right. and that's what we're trying to. You know, explain right. to to the metal the alloy industry and the recyclers yeah. is that laser it's a little different i mean in terms of what's what it's better at versus right. what it's not good at compared to x-ray but it's right. definitely um i mean the maintenance costs are at least a factor of 10 lower <laughs>